Today I'm gonna to show you how you can update your BIOS in three simple steps using only your motherboard, your power supply, and a cheap USB 2.0. So most modern motherboards support a feature called BIOS flashback. It's really easy to do and I'm going to take you through it in three simple steps. So the first step is going to be to get yourself a USB flash drive. Now, none of that fancy schmancy USB 3.0 stuff. You want a small capacity USB 2.0. Um, that's going to be what your motherboard supports for BIOS flashback. Now for step two, you're gonna to wanna to follow the instructions that you see here. Okay, so what you're gonna to wanna to do here is navigate to your motherboard support page. You can usually find this pretty easily by just typing whatever your make and model is into Google, and it should take you straight there. Once you're on the site, you'll see a support tab, and in there you'll find something labeled drivers and utilities or something similar to that, and there should be a tab for BIOS and firmware. Download that file. Now it's important to note, it's most likely gonna download a zipped version of that file, so you'll open it up and extract it. Once you've extracted it, you should see two things in there. One will be the actual BIOS file and the other will be a renamer utility. So that renamer is gonna let you rename the file to exactly what your motherboard is expecting to see. If you don't see a renamer utility, that's perfectly okay. On your motherboard support page, they should have the instructions to rename it exactly what your what your specific board is gonna be looking for. Now, once you have that file renamed, you can see we're ready to go right here. You're gonna insert your USB stick. Now, one important note, you don't see me doing it here, but you wanna make sure your USB stick is formatted to FAT32. Once you have it, just use the file explorer to open that up. And then you're gonna drag and drop just the cap file for your BIOS over to that USB stick. Make sure you safely eject it, and that's it. You're good to go, your USB stick is all ready. All right guys, now that we have our USB flash drive ready, we are ready to move on to the final step. So you're gonna take your power supply and connect it up to your motherboard's 24 pin ATX and your CPU power, and that is it. No need to install anything else or have every, anything else in there. I'm gonna take your power supply. Turn it on. You should see your motherboard come to life. You can see our RGB going right there. We're gonna take our USB flash drive, insert it into the port labeled BIOS flashback. And there'll be a button right underneath it, as you can see right there. We're gonna push and hold that for three seconds. And that's it. I don't know if you can see, we'll zoom in real quick. The light's blinking, once the light starts blinking, your BIOS is updating, it'll stop whenever it's done. Whole process can take anywhere from like two to six minutes, so it feels like it's taken a long time. Don't worry, nothing's wrong. And that's it, it is as simple as that. Update your BIOS without actually hooking up anything for your computer, um, and this really comes in handy, especially if you have a brand new motherboard, like a first generation product like ours here, and there's been some BIOS updates that have come out before we ever actually built the system that are really critical. Um, or on the opposite side, if you have a much older motherboard that needs to be updated so that it can run whatever newer CPU you've bought for it. Either way, having BIOS flashback is a great feature.